Hi, Brad Nessler with Gary Danielson. Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. Gary, it's been a long trip. It's been a long wait for Wisconsin. Their task is at hand, a Michigan State team that's very tough. If Wisconsin's offensive line is successful running the ball, then Bevel will be successful throwing the ball. The Spartans won the toss. They have defer, and Wisconsin will get the football first. We welcome all of you watching around the world, if you will, to the Tokyo Dome for a game that will determine the Rose Bowl participant this year. Terrell Fletcher will take it out across the 25-yard line, and that's where Wisconsin will go to work offensively, working from their own 27-yard line. Doremus in motion. First play of the game, and Brent Moss, as he's done so many times this season, will get positive yardage out across the 33-yard line. Picked up about six, and he's done that a lot. Opening series of the ball game, and again, Lee Doremus will be in motion, and again, it will be Brent Moss this time working the left side, and he really got tagged as he got to the 35-yard line. Stan Callender came up to make the hit. Wisconsin likes to go to Mark Montgomery on third and short. It is third down and three for the Badgers. They will keep it on the ground. Conservative in their opening drive, and a face mask, I'm sure, will fly in as Moss gets out near the 39-yard line. It's going to be good enough for a first down, and they'll tack some extra yardage onto it. And you see a major face mask penalty walked off into Michigan State territory at the 45. And here's another look, and I believe it was Hammonds up front who got the hand in there, and Moss really had to rearrange his headgear when that play was over. Both Doremus and Dawkins, the wideouts to the left side for Daryl Bevel. And a sprint draw as Moss will follow his fullback Montgomery inside the 40 near the 38-yard line. Second down and a long three coming up Wisconsin. They'll go the other way with the same play. Same result. Moss first down to the 31-yard line of Michigan State. Barry told me he wanted to run left against Michigan State. Just inside the Spartan 32, another Wisconsin first down. Play action. Bevel rolls to his left. He's going to keep it. And Fredrickson Get on. over there, along with Rich Glover to make the hit. And there's Darryl Bevel's numbers. And that's something that could really be a problem for Wisconsin. They can't afford to have anybody get hurt. At the 27-yard line, we're taking a feed from the Japanese broadcast, Tokyo Broadcasting System here at the Tokyo Dome. So at times, you're going to see some things you would not normally see in the normal ESPN telecast, to be quite honest. Fletcher, with flags down, goes down. A loss of about a yard. Penalty markers all over the field. Michigan State jumped into an eight-man front that time, but I think they were offsides on the outside. And a free play. On the last one on the penalty has brought up second down and a yard. Wisconsin has not passed the football on this opening drive. They won't this time either. Moss has a first down. And the pile going backwards if you're watching for Michigan State and a lot of red jerseys with some good leg drive inside the 20 to about the 18 yard line. First down, Wisconsin. First down in the red zone for Michigan State on the opening march for Wisconsin. Montgomery, the fullback, in motion. This would be the first pass if Bevel has time, and he goes to the end zone for Doremus, and he overshot him incomplete. Covering was Stan Callender, the cornerback. Second down at 10. First time Wisconsin's been in long yardage on second down. Moss cuts back and maybe got a yard. That's about it as Dale Person from the defensive line makes a big stop and forces third down and long yardage. Doremus is the leading receiver for Wisconsin. They like to use their tight end as well. Michael Rome. Third down and eight. Moss was a safety valve and Darrell Bevel threw a bad pass. Too high. He knows it from 34 yards away. Schnetzky, great foot into it, and Wisconsin on the board first at the Tokyo Dome. Back deep, Mill Coleman, number six. Mill the thrill, and Derek Mason joins him. John Hall will tee it up for Wisconsin. Three-nothing Badgers, first quarter from the Tokyo Dome. Hall with a deep kick, and nobody's gonna have a shot at this. 
Although Coleman takes it on one hop touchback and that'll bring out the Michigan State Spartan offense at the 20 yard line and a first down Michigan State from the 20 yard line and spinning his way across the 25 to the 26 is Craig Thomas pickup of almost six second down along for Michigan State and it will be this time Wayne Goldburn who picks up maybe three he's going to be short of the first down third and a long one coming up third down and a yard Michigan State's opening drive and Goldburn's got a hole and he's out to the 39 yard line first down Spartans Here's the toss to Thomas. Nice cut, but a nice open field tackle as well. And it's Chris Hine, the outside linebacker, a junior out of Plymouth, Wisconsin. So it's going to be second down and a full 10 to go. Jim Miller's first pass coming up. Man wide open out of the flat. And that's Jay Green, the tight end. He's got it out across the 45. To the 47-yard line where it's third down and three. And another good team on third down is Michigan State, over 49%. Top two third down conversion teams in the Big Ten on the same field today. And they've got this one easily. Steve Holman takes it into Wisconsin territory. He's got a first down at the 46-yard line. First down, Michigan State in Wisconsin territory at the 46-yard line. Miller wants to swing it out and does to Scott Green. And Green, 200 and almost 30 pound sophomore has it down to the 41 yard line five minutes 42 seconds remaining first quarter three nothing Wisconsin and Michigan State second down at five maybe to the 38 yard line and that will bring up third down and a couple as Wayne Goldberg the sophomore out of Detroit there's his numbers on the year third down short yardage big play here and it is going to be close I think he got the first down Holman got the first down first and 10 Michigan State at the 35 of Wisconsin it's Holman again and this time only about a yard nice stop by Eric Umbers on the inside linebacker just outside the 33 yard line of Wisconsin see if Miller goes on top on second down and long waits until the last instant goes deep touchdown Michigan State and it's mill the thrill Coleman Stojanovic the point after is up and good and again you don't see the extra point you'll have to trust us see over here in Japan because of the value of the yen it's worth so much like <laughs> one point they don't even bother to show the extra point see it's just one point it's no big deal because it's 30 bucks for a cup of coffee that's right what's a big deal with one point right <laughs> you don't have to show it. you don't have to show it we didn't see it but we did see the <laughs> touchdown and again we are taking a feed from <laughs> the group over here and uh, they'll do their best and we'll do our best to keep you abreast of the action because we might miss a few plays folks Really is a strange setting here. I think everybody's ready for the seventh inning stretch, you know? <laughs> They're looking for Sadahoro, I think. Stoyo, the kick. Terrell Fletcher at the five. Fletcher found himself an opening. Stoyanovich had to make the tackle as Fletcher got it out to the 33 yard line. Wisconsin's opening drive effective when they were on the ground, which they've done all year. Their passing game struggle a little bit. But here comes Brent Moss. He's got about 17 yards before Michigan State can find the handle out to the 44 yard line. Wisconsin will run left in this football game and they will try to take it to the left side of the defense. They feel they have a matchup advantage that way. They've got Verstegen over there a 300 pounder and Joe Rudolph at 285 and they have been working it and they'll work it again. Moss goes outside. He's got 10 more and then some. Brett Moss down to the 31 yard line. Outside the 31 yard line of Michigan State. Wisconsin has moved it briskly down the field. They trail the Spartans 7 3. Moss, right side, keeps his balance. They're going to say that his knee touched down, and that'll be a loss of about a yard. Bevel fires. Doremus open inside the 20. Famous Doremus 
Just over two minutes left first quarter. Wisconsin on the drive and Moss on the carry inside the 10 yard line. Knocked down there. As coming up from the secondary was Myron Bell. Right on the bottom of the offensive line there at the nine yard line is Castro a 300 pounder. So they're loaded up front. Here's Brent Moss left side. Inside the five to the four yard line. Aaron Jackson the defensive tackle made the stop. And maybe as good of blocking fullback as you'll find in the game is Mark Montgomery the up man in the eye on third down a long yard Wisconsin Montgomery in motion he'll be the lead man for Moss outside but a great job defensively by Rob Fredrickson Bucky Badgers made the 7,000 mile trip his team trails seven to three as we're set to start the second quarter and Ricky Schnetzky will tee it up to try a 23 yard field goal Schnetzky missed it he hit his first one from 34 and that one he just pushed straight ahead and Wisconsin wastes a great looking drive 7 3 Michigan State leads as we are one play into the second quarter and Wisconsin saw a 63 yard march in seven plays sort of wasted as Ricky Schnetzky missed a 23 yard field goal So now the Spartans who scored on their opening drive first down and a big opening. And Reggie Holt's got to make what might have been a touchdown saving tackle at the 30 yard line. First down at the 31 yard line as Thomas ripped it up the middle. Goldburn trying to do the same and he won't get anything. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. And Mike Thompson off the bottom of the pile. The junior out of Portage, Wisconsin makes the hit. Thompson, that's his 12th tackle for loss this year. Miller. Scrambles around, buys some time, and finds his receiver. First down across the 40 to the 42, and it's Mill Coleman again. The 42 yard line. Spartans first down with the lead here in the second quarter, 7 3. Play action. Miller fires near side. Bob Organ, the tight end. The big fella rolls into Wisconsin territory with a first down. Miller's in good control of this football game. Talk about being able to spot a receiver. Huh? Oregon took up from the hash mark over, and <laughs> Miller got it to him. First down to the 46-yard line. Draw play, Holman. And Steve Holman works inside the 45. I, the ball come loose I, on the I, bottom. It looked like he did, but I see the referee with his two, his two fingers up, so I think they're going to call him down. And couldn't wait for this football game to start. Miller bootlegs and threw it. Intercepted Scott Nelson. The Wisconsin safety's got an avenue. And he's back to the 40-yard line. Biggest play of the game so far, and Scott Nelson, the senior out of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, has got it. That is fifth interception of the season. And Barry Alvarez club looking for something like that, trailing 7-3 to three and watching Michigan State move it right down the field. But Nelson's got it back in the hands of the Badgers offense just outside the 40-yard line. Bevel off play action. Fires to a wide open Montgomery, the fullback. And Mark Montgomery near the 25 yard line. And that's a Wisconsin first down. Do not underestimate Daryl Bevel. He's led the Big Ten in passing every week of this season this year. Five guys that were not highly recruited were part of Barry Alvarez's opening recruiting class, many of them. And boy, have they paid dividends. First down, Fletcher knocked around in the backfield. Ping pongs around and finally goes down as Garnett, the linebacker, finally makes the stop on it. Terrell couldn't find any place to hide, and he's going to lose a fairly significant chunk of yardage on that one. A loss of four by Fletcher. Brings up second down and 14. Bevel back to throw. Flares it out to Fletcher on the run. Terrell Fletcher inside the 20. And Fletcher to the 13-yard line. First down, Wisconsin. Wisconsin's been inside the red zone twice and they don't have a touchdown to show for it yet. They hit a 34 yard field goal. They missed a 23 yarder. They're camped at the 13 yard line of the Spartans first down. Fletcher outside found some room works his way close to another first down inside the five yard line. So Wisconsin trailing seven to three. There we there are, we are hey. in deep center. <laughs> and it's second down at about a yard. Doremus, the man in motion. The give to Fletcher straight up the middle. First and goal, Wisconsin. Fletcher's got it at the one-yard line. Hey, nice glasses. <laughs> <laughs> 
Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson with you. We've got about seven and a half, uh, make it nine and a half minutes remaining first half in a 7-3 Michigan State lead. Wisconsin tried to win a game in a Rose Bowl berth for the first time since the early 60s. Play action, Bevel to throw, lofts it out. Roan can't get there. Yakini Allen really saved the touchdown that time. Fletcher and Montgomery in the dual backfield, second and goal. Roan in motion. They'll run it that way. Fletcher hit the backfield. Touchdown! Bounced off a would-be tackler, and Terrell is in. Schnetzky in for the point after. And he's put Wisconsin in front by three. Nelson's interception turns into a Terrell Fletcher touchdown run for Wisconsin as they cover 40 yards in seven plays. Just about three minutes used off the clock, and Fletcher takes it in from a yard out, and it's 10 7 Wisconsin in front. Mason and Coleman back deep. And again, Hall got all of this one, and Coleman will have to take a knee. Again, we're at the Tokyo Dome. And what a place for a game this big. Wisconsin wins, they go to the Rose Bowl. If not, Ohio State will go. George Perlish, Michigan State team already Liberty Bowl bound in Memphis in late December. And first down, Spartans from the 20. The toss and a cutback by Thomas gets it out from the 24 yard line. Second down and six. Goldberg. And Goldberg short of the first down. Third and a couple coming up. Third down and a couple. I don't know. Wisconsin played it well. Yusef Burgess on the hit. And did he get enough for the first down? I don't believe so. So this will be our first punt of the game. Keith Jackson camps under it at the 36. Fumbled it. Picked it up and finds himself a little opening. Keith Jackson outside. To the Spartans 40 yard line. What a nifty return and many times you see a guy bobble a punt. Bevel. Fletcher again he darts around in the backfield. Fletcher on his way. Terrell Fletcher one man to beat and he won't get it. Touchdown Wisconsin 40 yards for number 41. Boy, you get blasted by Moss, and then you put in a guy who can put the moves on you like Fletcher can. And Schnetzky's extra point is up and good, and all of a sudden, the Wisconsin fans almost lifted the lid on the Tokyo Dome with Terrell Fletcher's 40-yard touchdown run. It's put the Badgers in front 17-7, 7-12 remaining in the first half. Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson along with you from Tokyo, Japan. Hall has not let... The deep duo for Michigan State touched the ball and they misjudged this one as Mason tried to flag it. And it uh, goes out the end zone again and out to the 20 yard line for Michigan State one more time. That last drive for Wisconsin, well, 40 yards in one play. It took uh, Jarrell Fletcher, I'd say, about six seconds to get <laughs> there. <laughs> so now the Spartans down 10. And let's see if they open it up a little bit more with the passing game that Gary was talking about. There's the play action. And Scott Green out of the backfield, and he's got a head of steam, and he can run over some people going about 230 and going out to the 37-yard line, 17 yards, first down. Napoleon Outlaw in motion. No gain on the play as Craig Thomas off the right side. Hit immediately by Chris Hine. Quite frankly, this is about the time of day that it sort of hits you in the middle of the yep. afternoon, even though we've been over here for four or five days. You tend to wake up once in the middle of the night, and then in the middle of the afternoon, you start getting sluggish. Miller trying to hit Oregon, who was wide open, and the tight end couldn't make a circus catch. Nobody within eight yards of Bob Oregon. On third and long, Miller under some pressure this time. Goes short to Goldburn. He's going to have to do quite a dance to get a first down, and Yusef Burgess won't let him get there. He did get across the 45-yard line, though, near the 46. 
Wayne Goldburn, a sophomore out of Detroit, is a couple yards short of the first down. You see Miller, he wants to throw for the first down. A lot of people say, hey, why throw the ball short of the first down? The reason is the guys open for the first down, guys for the first down are covered. You got to dump it off. You hope the back can make the first down running the ball. Chris Salani in his second punt. The last one went 36 yards and then got returned 24. Scott Nelson calls for a fair catch. Maybe should have caught this one as Michigan State is going to down it near the one yard line. There's Wisconsin's predicament. First down from the one. And immediately Montgomery gets him some breathing room. He very, very seldom loses yardage on a carry. Again, I'm sure most of you in the Midwest that will be watching know that this is for the Rose Bowl for Wisconsin. Second down and six. Nice play fake by Bevel. He wants it all. Doremus is out there, and he's got it. Sometimes you've just got to throw it up and let number two run under it, and he did. Doremus' second catch of the ball game, and a first down now way out at the 47-yard line. And they go back to that sprint draw, and it's Brent Moss across the 50 and into Michigan State territory near the 48. Late in the second quarter. 350 remaining first half. Moss this time ran into a brick wall as he hit Matt Christensen for one. Third down and two. Badgers try to keep this drive alive before halftime comes to a close. Play action for Bevel. Throws on the run and roll. The tight end's got it first down. Near the 35. And some contact made. Michigan State looks to have come in and made contact as Yukini Allen and Steve Stark the right guard for Wisconsin that's the spot he came through he just cost his team five so Wisconsin gets a freebie so first and five Wisconsin with 237 left in the half from the 30 Bevel sets up has plenty of time over the middle he's got rolling the tight end again inside the 15 and down near the 12 and Bevel who started shaky on the opening drive is warming up just outside the Michigan State 12 and boy would Wisconsin be in the driver's seat at halftime if they score again here in the final two minutes of the first half Brent Moss Moss inside the 10 and Moss takes the pile with him inside the five yard line at the three yard line Second down and less than a yard for Wisconsin. Moss and Montgomery in the Badger backfield. Moss. Touchdown! Schnetzky's extra point is up and good. So Daryl Bevel deep in his own territory hits Lee to Ramos and then they carry it down the field and Moss takes it in from three yards out. That was a 99 yard touchdown drive. Yeah, we 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 said Jeff Nelson made a mistake not catching that ball. That, that really hurt him, didn't it? Yeah, you sure know, did. Wisconsin only has one senior on that offensive line. The rest of the guys will all be back. And again, Coleman has to take a knee. Boy, John Hall is excited to play this football game. Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson. We hope you're enjoying this special ESPN presentation for the Tokyo Dome. 115 left in the half, halfway to Pasadena for Wisconsin. You know, they, they all were worried about jet lag. When you're looking at the scoreboard and you're behind by this much, 24 to 7, that adds to that jet lag. Yep. And here's Craig Thomas out to the 29. Wow, well, I'm really a little surprised by that call right now. You got a minute left in this half. They've got a guy that. George Perlis feels will be a high NFL draft choice at quarterback. There's no, doubt he, the air. Uh, there's no doubt he will be. He's very talented. And they will keep it on the ground. Thomas cuts outside, gets a first down, and runs out across the 40 near the 42. But we've only got 39 seconds left in the half. There's a timeout called. George Perlis and Morris Watts will talk it over with Jim Miller and the Michigan State offense, and the wave will work its way around the Tokyo Dome. Michigan State with a couple of timeouts left and a first down at their own 41-yard line. Jim Miller across the middle to Mill Coleman. Coleman into Wisconsin territory. There is a flag down in the Spartan backfield, and here comes the other way. Just inside the 25 and the clock inside 25. And Michigan State maybe now will just... Uh, 
let this thing wind out and regroup at halftime. They had a 7-3 lead, but they have seen the Badgers score 21 unanswered points. And you know the Spartan fans aren't too crazy about this. They started strong, had an excellent opening offensive drive, marched it down the field, put it in the end zone, but since then, it's been all red and white of the Badgers of Wisconsin. from the two yard line bobbles it and comes straight ahead and got tagged pretty good as he hit the 19 or 20. They've started from the 20 virtually all day long so they have had to travel the length of the field and they work again from the 20 first down first play third quarter play action Miller on the roll throws short Scott uh, Bryce Abrams rather the fullback and now a little scuffle with Yusef Burgess who knocked him out of bounds. Second down at five. Spartans with a lone wide receiver. That's Coleman to the top of your screen. Frank Thomas maybe got two. That's about it. Brian Jurowitz, the linebacker, in on the hit. You would think they'd have to put it up here. Third down and a full three. They'll draw it. And Goldberg's got a first down. So maybe Wisconsin thinking a little bit what I was, and Goldburn takes it eight yards to the 35 first down Spartans. Jim Miller, the senior out of Waterford, Michigan, brings him up his second to last game in a Spartan green and white uniform. First down, Michigan State from its own 35. Nice play fake. Miller fires on the run, completes it across midfield, and this time it's Napoleon Outlaw. And he's into Wisconsin territory at about the 48-yard line. Just a couple of minutes into the third quarter from the Tokyo Dome with Wisconsin in control, but Michigan State with a good looking drive going at the Badgers 48 yard line. Goldburn cut back and got out to the corner inside the 40. And Goldburn running hard. And Dwayne's got another Michigan State first down. Steve Holman with the carry. And it brings up second down and about seven to go. Spartans Miller throws wide open Scott Green out in the flat and on the move first and goal Michigan State former New York high school player of the year Scott Green gives the Spartans the ball inside the five yard line first and goal at the four Abrams the up man Goldberg the tail and the give Dwayne Goldberg maybe a yard and then again maybe not Lamarck Shackerford is there so is Carlos Fowler two tight end set Jay Green and Bob Oregon and Scott Green on a wing is in motion second and goal there's the play fake but Miller's going down Thompson and Fowler are there and it's third and goal from the 13 10 minutes 52 seconds to go third quarter 24 to 7. Wisconsin Michigan State trying not to waste a great looking drive here to open the third quarter Miller out in the flat Goldburn and he goes down a great open field tackle by Jeff Messenger Bill Stojanovic will come out to try the field goal Stojanovic has struggled a little bit this year on his field goals nine of 18 but he drills this one through from 26 yards away well he didn't have Leon Letts on a couple of those <laughs> to help him out though as you said we're playing on a Sunday where it's Saturday night back home and we're in a baseball stadium. We don't know if it's night or day and a trip to the Rose Bowl yeah. at stake for the guys we, in the red and, and white. we preempted a basketball game. That's so right. that about covers it. We've hit every button we could. Michigan State, Stojanovic kick. Darrell Fletcher, he's got two touchdowns on the ground today and he takes this kick off from the five yard line. And Terrell does a nice job as the ball is loose yeah. but covered by Wisconsin out near the 40. They've been unable to stop Moss and Fletcher so far today and Moss on this carry goes over 100 yards and he goes to the 50 yard line. Give him 11 more and 110 for the day for Brent Moss the leading rusher in the Big Ten and the number three rusher in the country. I had breakfast with Joe Panos's dad right next to him today. I said you're nervous. He said I can't even breathe. <laughs> Looks just like Joe only is about yeah. 120 <laughs> pounds smaller and about eight inches shorter. Across the 50 and into Michigan State territory. Let's see if we can check out what happened here. It takes it wide to the right side. 
gets turned in, and it looked like he, his right leg just got bent a little bit on the play. Either that or he knew he just did that record 10 consecutive 100 <laughs> yard and wanted to get the air time. That's right. Fletcher in there for Moss. He probably would have been this series at some point anyway. Bevel will throw off the roll and roll the tight end inside the 40. It's another first down near the 38 yard line of Michigan State. Eight and a half minutes to go third quarter and Fletcher. And he gets about five yards. Penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, inside the Michigan State defensive lineman jumped a bit, and uh, they're going to have their choice whether they want to take the running play or the penalty. First and five as they take the penalty. Just outside the 33-yard line. Nice play action by Bevel again, and he fires to a wide open Roan, the tight end. And he's down to the 21-yard line. First down, Wisconsin. First down, Wisconsin. Bevel firing the other way. He's got it again, this time to J.C. Dawkins. And J.C.'s out of bounds, about a half yard shy of another Wisconsin first down. Moss, who's back in there with a penalty marker down, gets the first down. But again, flag on the play. Yeah, Corey Raymer's going to get called for holding that time on Aaron Jackson. Second down and 14, Wisconsin. End around coming. Lee DeRamus waiting for a block. DeRamus on his way. Inside the 10 yard line. Everything working for Wisconsin. It is first and goal at the eight. Moss spins back to the line of scrimmage, and that's just about it as he ran into Rich Glover, big senior defensive end. Second and goal, Badgers. Moss to the five. Cut down there by Garnett and Yakini Allen. Bevel trips going back, try to get rid of the ball, and they will whistle it dead as his backside hit the turf. Yeah, I think before he got, could get rid of it. I think he got stepped on, is what usually happens in that situation. And Schnetzky hit one from 34, missed from 23. This is from 27 yards. And Ricky Schnetzky, right through the middle, has added three more for Wisconsin. Twenty seven ten Wisconsin leading Michigan State in the third quarter Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson with you from the Tokyo Dome. What all that means is is that Mill Coleman got it out to the 11 yard line first down Michigan State and pretty soon they're just going to have to start going to the air Gary you would think on a regular basis swing it out here Abrams the fullback but what he got was about a half yard and a headache second down and nine Miller fires to Coleman to the 29 yard line he got 17 Spartans trailing with 418 left third quarter Thomas out across the 35 nice run by Craig Thomas got to about seven maybe eight second down along three now it's Goldburn as they go to the change of pace and Goldburn will take it into Wisconsin territory out at about the 49 yard line came in with 820 yards on the year and he's had a pretty good game so far and first down Michigan State at the 49 of the Badgers play action for Miller wide open again is Scott Green Wisconsin has not covered that all day long Reggie Holt holding on for dear life second down four we're under three minutes third quarter Goldburn again with a cutback and a great move outside Goldburn Holt may have gotten a face mask that's what the Michigan State bench wants a call from and they don't get it Draw play. Goldburn, nice hole inside. Scott Nelson. I'll make it Eric Unverzat, the linebacker. 47 made the stop. Goldburn, the single setback. That's Abrams in motion. Goldburn. Brought down that time by Jamel Brown, the strong safety. Third down and a short two. That's the time remaining, third quarter. Steve Holman first down still on his feet inside the 15 and now it's Goldburn back in there behind Miller he gets the call and Reggie Holt in on another tackle could be the final play of the quarter Miller wants to throw back to his tight end Oregon the big guy's got it but Reggie Holt's got him and gets help from his friends 
as Nick Rafko, the linebacker, finally had to jump on the 265 pound tight end and bring him down. A quarter to play from the Tokyo Dome. Wisconsin leads Michigan State 27 to 10. Brad Nessler and Gary Danielson along with you. It is late afternoon here and early morning back home. And Michigan State with a third down and about 13 to go. Miller to the end zone, flag down. This will be a pass interference on Kenny Gales, number three. And this is going to put it down first and goal at about the two and a half. And now it's Holman and Abrams in there. The big load backfield. First and goal, Michigan State. Holman straight up the middle. And he may have gotten to about the one and a half. They're about a yard and a half away from the Wisconsin end zone. Second down and goal, Spartans. Goldburn weaves his way. Touchdown, Michigan State. And this game far from over. He's got to keep his mind on it and drill it through and does. Still a lot of time left in this football game at the Tokyo Dome, and Wisconsin's lead has been sliced down to 10 points on a Michigan State touchdown drive. Dwayne Goldburn takes it in. Capping an 89 yard march in 14 plays a little over six minutes Terrell Fletcher and Keith Jackson will drop back deep. There's Goldburn who just scored the Michigan State touchdown and swing. he was impressive in that drive. He kept bouncing to the outside of the of the zone play and he really had a good good drive. Wisconsin has had an offensive answer every yes. time today that Michigan State's come up with a score. Let's see what they do on this one. Stoyanovic to kick. This one a line drive worth gets out of the way Jackson takes it on the hop and Keith Jackson goes down Michigan State fired up first down Wisconsin every time they've had the football today six times on offense they've ended up with either a touchdown or a field goal or field goal attempt so they've taken it the length of the field every time they've had it on offense. Brent Moss is in there pounding on him now Fletcher the guy who's capable of busting the big one with a little bit more moves than Brent does. Fletcher got about five, second and five, Wisconsin. 14 minutes away from a Rose Bowl bid. Bevel with the play fake. Plenty of time to throw. Doremus got absolutely leveled. Yeah, they, they threw a flag on the play, but it will not be interference because the ball was tipped. This is a much bigger third and five than you can even imagine. Wisconsin trying to answer the Michigan State scoring drive. And they do. Dawkins wide open. Into Michigan State territory and out of bounds. And a flag comes in. We may have a late hit on top of a big play. They pick up 32 yards on the pass play. And then they walk it off, as Gary just said, against Callender all the way down to the 30-yard line. A 47-yard pickup with a penalty included. And Wisconsin first down at the 30. Terrell Fletcher. Behind a block, cuts back. Both Moss and Fletcher, excellent cutback runners. And it really helps, Gary, if you're going to be a cutback runner, if your line of scrimmage moves everybody back <laughs> so far that you've got four yards to make a decision. Yeah, there's so much space to run in here. There's the six drives, and as we said, either touchdowns or field goals. One missed field goal of 23 yards. Really the only blemish on the Wisconsin offense tonight. Bevel fires out, incomplete. Their last third down, and five or six was much bigger than this one though because now they're at Michigan State's end of the field at the 25 yard line. Bevel steps up in the pocket over the middle. First down Wisconsin. Michael London. And London's got it down to the six yard line. Fletcher the single setback. Gets the call. And a lot of white jerseys out there to meet him this time. He's going to lose at least two yards, maybe three. It's the nine yard line where it's second down and goal, Wisconsin. Montgomery, the fullback, with Fletcher in the Wisconsin backfield. Doremus, the only, Doremus and Dawkins, the two wideouts. And it's Montgomery. Not much. Juan Hammonds holding on. I'd like to go to Doremus in this situation. Bevel with some pressure, lofts it out. Doremus! Touchdown! He read it properly. Bevel put it right there for a huge touchdown. Schnetzky to try to double the score, Wisconsin, and does. Exactly 11 minutes left.
Wisconsin leading 34-17. Fourth quarter, 11 minutes remaining in the ball game. Hall, high and a little bit shorter this time, and Mason will have a chance from the five-yard line. And Derek Mason straight up the middle and fights his way out to the 30. Nice return of 25 yards. First down at the 30, Michigan State. And now time running out, and they're down by 17. Pretty soon, Mill Coleman's got to become a big part of the offense. So far, it's the biggest guy on the field that they're going to, Oregon the tight end. And he doesn't go down, but he does get wrapped up by Fowler and company. Second down along three. Miller will give it off on a draw play. Thomas rumbles into the Wisconsin secondary. First and ten. Miller off play action. Now he's got Coleman in the middle of the field. Down to the 30. A guy that you, you just have to think is not utilized as much maybe as he could be. 22-yard pickup. So right back to the 30-yard line as this one goes up and down the field. Goldburn trying to break a tackle of Mike Thompson who shoestringed him and he did go down. It'll be second down and about six. Nine and a half minutes. We'll make it 8.52 remaining. And this is Green. And Green to the 16-yard line. And it's first down Michigan State. Eight minutes, 37 seconds remaining. And Jim Miller to throw. And throws it away. Jay Green, the tight end. Closest man. Jim Miller almost forced out of that Penn State game with back spasms, also received acupuncture while he was here. He must have had a deal with that acupuncturist, you know. Yeah. Now they gave everybody green pom-poms and red pom-poms, but they, what they didn't do is tell them when to use them. <laughs> They're still working on they, that. They, all they do is anytime the camera goes on them, that's the only time they shake them. They are shaking them for the right team if they're for Michigan State. With a second and 10 at the 16-yard line. Miller lofts to the end zone to Coleman. And Messenger breaks it up. Jeff Messenger leading the Big Ten at interceptions coming in and comes up with a nice play on Bill Coleman. I think Michigan State would have better success if they threw the ball inside against the blitz instead of trying to run, throw the ball outside on that post corner. Let's see if Wisconsin doesn't fake the blitz here and go to zone. They do. Carter and Coleman to the left. That's where Miller's looking, but he was going to throw it to Green out in the flat. Nobody home except Reggie Holt, the closest man, and Mike Thompson deposited Jim Miller, and Miller still down. I think he's just got a shoe problem. Yep, not an injury. So this brings up fourth and ten. So they're going to work their way for a couple of touchdowns. Stojanovic connects on the field goal. From 33 yards out, Bill Stojanovic does what Gary was talking about, and that's making a two-touchdown game. So nice Wisconsin... Job is very close to that trip to Pasadena, but still it is a two touchdown game. And eight minutes and 15 seconds left in this one. Stojanovic with the onside kick. Ball is still loose. Michigan State had a great play on it. Did I, they cover it? I think they got it. Mad scramble, including the Big Ten officiating crew trying to get the bodies out of the way. Spartans have the football. Let's see if we can get one more look at it. The ball has to go to the 45. No one crosses the line. The ball, you really can't tell from that shot. It looks like it crossed the line before anyone got hit. I think that's a good call on the And play. then it squirts out of the initial pile as you see it come free. And then Myron Bell, number 24, heading toward it, is the guy that finally gets the dive of the day right there. It's going to get wild now. It sure is. 34 to 20. 8.15 left in Michigan State. Great field position, too, obviously, as Miller off play action goes deep. Mill Coleman out there, but it's intercepted by Kenny Gales. Kenny Gales, the junior, out of New York with the interception, no doubt, of his career, his fourth of the season. Moss back in there with Montgomery, the fullback. Let's see if they try to choose some clock. Moss. Popped it out across the 10-yard line. And we're under eight minutes. 
let's just make the tackles, I would tell my defense, and worry about the fumbleism if it happens. If you're Wisconsin, you're Daryl Bevel, you're telling them, guys, hold on to the ball. We'd rather punt it than fumble it. And they haven't turned it over all day, as you just saw. Michigan State may have been offside in the neutral zone, and Moss is in some extra zone of his own. Out across the 35 to the 37-yard line. I think that's an offside on Michigan State. If it is, Brent Moss has got a big gainer and a first down Wisconsin. This time they ran it to the right side. Joe Panos, Mike Roan, Steve Stark opened up the hole. Moss, no one touched him until he gets 15 yards down the field. And they just continue to be able to run and play action the ball anytime they want to. 34 to 20, 7.17 to go. Fletcher, and he darts around, and Fletcher's in the secondary. Terrell Fletcher with Henry to beat. About the only thing he did wrong was go out of bounds. Could have kept the clock going, but he goes all the way to the 30-yard line. Now it's Moss, and he finds about five yards when there looked like there wouldn't be anything. Looked like Fredrickson had him wrapped up. Second and five now, Wisconsin at the 25 of Michigan State. Brent Moss. And he's going to be very close to another Wisconsin first down. I think he's got it at the 20 yard line. First down, Wisconsin. Just trying to use up the remaining six minutes. Moss. Fredrickson drops him at the line of scrimmage. But you see the clock, the ally of the Wisconsin Badgers. You've got to go back to 1963 to find Wisconsin lead the Big Ten in offense. And in rushing offense, you go back to 1952. And they're about to do both thanks to these two guys in the offensive line that we've talked about all day. Look at the numbers for Moss and Fletcher. Outrushing the opposition by about 130 yards a game all season long. They're doing it again today. And they're five minutes away from Pasadena. Bevel. Doremus, first and goal, Wisconsin. First and goal, Badgers, Moss to the one. Yeah, everybody is, uh, any seat in Pasadena is better than in Madison, Wisconsin, right? <laughs> that's and That's right. where they've been as far as the Rose Bowl since 1963. And it's a whole lot warmer. Moss, the lone setback. Two tight end formation, Wisconsin. And Montgomery in motion to lead the way. Moss, touchdown, Badgers. With Wisconsin now about to go up by three touchdowns as Schnetzky kicks the point after. They've even got that banner going around the stadium. Right side up, you can read it. <laughs> John Hall will kick, and again, he blasts it out of the end zone as the adrenaline is flowing on every play now for Wisconsin, and Michigan State will have to throw on virtually every down. All the tickets that Wisconsin's fans can get their hands on are gone. The other word was that if indeed they won this game today and they are going to, that the end zone seats have already doubled in price. If you want a seat at the 50, it's going to cost you a few yen, I think. And Michigan State will drop to 6-5 and five when this one's over. And they will also finish in seventh place, and yet they are bowl bound. We can't let that slip our minds because they'll go to the Liberty Bowl against Louisville. Third down and short. May have been some motion on Michigan State before the snap as it looked like Abrams, a fullback, got a head start on the ball. And that would take away the first down anyway. Well, Michigan State set up two punt. And they will. High kick. Nelson with a fair catch called for and taken at the 25-yard line. Wisconsin, 7,000 miles from home, playing a home game against George Burles Spartans, and they put on a show here in Tokyo. And here goes Terrell Fletcher, who's put on a show today, too. And now he's well over 100 yards. Under two minutes now. And Wisconsin with yet another first down. How many times have we said that today? And they'll give it off to Carl McCullough, and he really got <laughs> tattooed on that play. This is the best start a Wisconsin team has had since 1942 when they went 8-1-1, which was what their record was coming into this game. But now they're just a minute away from being only the fifth Wisconsin team ever to win nine games. 30 seconds away for Wisconsin. Bevel, the play action, rolls out and throws it to Lee Doremus. And Doremus down 
to the 40-yard line. Brad, Wisconsin will go in the biggest game of the year and not have to punt the whole football game. And now Wisconsin and their seniors, Carlos Fowler there who said, Coach Alvarez promised me the last game of my senior season I'd be playing for something. They played for the Rose Bowl and they won it and they're going to Pasadena. The Wisconsin Badgers for the first time since the end of the 1962 season on January 1 of 63. They played in a Rose Bowl against USC. They will meet UCLA January 1st as they win it here in the Tokyo Dome today by a final of 41 to 20. Perry, a program one in 10 when you came. People said don't take the job. You came here four years and 7,000 miles later you go to the Rose Bowl. Well, it's a funny place to take it, but I We've got great kids and a great coaching staff. We wanted to win this for the state of Wisconsin, our great alumni. They've been fantastic, and uh, we're just happy to go. You knew you had a good football team. Did you know they were going to be this good this early? No, I, I didn't think we were ready to, to contend for this championship of this league. This is a great league. The Big Ten is a great league, and I'm proud to represent us. Here we go. We got the Roses right here. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Great job representing us in the Rose Bowl. Congratulations on the Big Ten championship. Thank you. UCLA, the road team in this ball game. It's a low skittering kick and it goes into the end zone and out of the end zone and will come out to the 20 yard line. The big story of the Wisconsin football team may, however, be in the offensive line as we have the first snap and it's who else but Brent Moss. And there is an example of what he can do to you. Jameer Miller shifts outside. He comes on a blitz and gets a piece of the action at about the snap of the ball point. No gain on the play for Moss. It is third down and still about two. Moss again comes right in behind Joe Panos. And he's got his first down as he goes to the 31 yard line. And here's Bevel now for his first pass to the sideline. The pass is good to Michael London. And London gets it past the marker. So from the near the 44 yard line the Badgers go to work give that ball back to Moss again and he's up across the 45 on that carry give him a two yard pickup. Second down and eight double back to throw gets it away to the 50 it's across midfield to J.C. Dawkins. I wonder who will get the ball. Well they had him behind the line of scrimmage and couldn't hold him. And Brett Moss gets the first down. First down, Badgers at the Bruin 45. Moss getting a lot of work in the early going, and there's nothing on that carry. Call it second down and nine. It's Moss again. Slips as he tried to plant and make the cut. Marvin Goodwin was right there blocking his way. Doremus, number two, has been the prime target all season. The tight end, Michael Roan, however, is a very big target and a good one. It won't be Roan. He's blocking. The pass is thrown deep for Doremus. Out of bounds. Caught the ball, but he's out of bounds. Sam Veit has had only 14 punts returned this season. He's good at knocking the ball out. Killing it deep, and he's going to get this one killed pretty deep, like the one-yard line. Officially, they're going to call it the three. I don't know why the ball's touching the two. Wayne Cook turns and hands the ball off to Ricky Davis, and Davis wriggles his way out to about the eight. Second down at about four, and Skip Hicks is the tailback now. He is a freshman from Wichita Falls, Texas, and he can run. But they don't let him get around the corner. They stop him at the 11 yard line so he's going to be a couple of yards short. Out of the shotgun the ball is handed off to Hicks and here he comes around the corner and he's got the first down he's got some daylight and it's a big play for UCLA. Cook first pass of the ball game. There's Stokes. And the ball goes to the Wisconsin side of the field first down at the 41. 
and a penalty flag is thrown on the far side of the field. John Laurie out of the Dead big ball. eight. Personal foul, offense, 15 yard penalty. James Milliner is in there now at the deep spot. Runs the ball in the middle with Ricky Davis. And Davis, who had a huge ball game against Southern California, second down and eight. Cook hands it off. And Ricky Davis will have a couple Ricky of yards Davis on the carries. carry. So they're probably looking at third and about six. Here comes Davis in motion. He's a pretty good receiver, too. Cook's pass goes for Stokes. He's into the middle of the field, and it takes a couple of Badgers to put him down. First down, and a penalty flag as uh, the fight goes on with Stokes trying to shake off the smaller man, and it's Reggie Holt who finally wrestles him down. Second penalty on UCLA. Third down and three. Shotgun, double wide, bottom of the picture. Stokes goes the other way and hits... Uh, Gets the ball, shakes a man, and Stokes is all the way down to the 17-yard line. We're going to double Stokes some. We're going to play him a soft zone. We're going to play him a tough zone when we double. Uh, when we man up, we'll double him. Uh, we've got a disguise, and we don't, I don't want that quarterback to know what we're going to be in until the ball snapped. Well, they have I not want him, doubled him. him to have to execute once the ball, once he's taken the football. Yeah, well, they have not doubled him yet, Keith. Every time he's yep. caught the ball, it's been single coverage. Second down and eight. Blitz. Got away from it. No, he didn't either. Somebody had him by the foot. Number 47, Eric Unverzak. Had him by the foot and wouldn't turn it loose. Ball outside the 17-yard line. It's third down and 11, and Cook is in the shotgun. Very sore throat. His voice may not last all day. Hands the ball to Davis, and Davis slices over the right side. Finds some daylight to the 11-yard line. The holder is Jeff Clark. The snapper is Paul Pernicki. The snap was off the mark. The hold was a little late, but Merton hit it solid. UCLA out to a 3-0 lead, 4-16 to play in the first quarter. This kick is up high, up into the sun, looking at three-yard line, Jackson. And 20, and 21, 22, and that'll stop him right there. Now Bevel has uh, Moss and Montgomery behind him, and Moss with the ball, looks for some daylight, finds some from the 22 to about the 26. Moss over the left side, and close to a first down. But then these backs, Moss and Fletcher, who'll be in in a little bit, can do so much on their own. Matt Nyquist now checks in at a tight end position, and on first down, a pass play. Goes to Moss, and a couple of three yards on it. We have not seen Fletcher as yet. Moss got the call. He went for over 1,400 yards, so it's second and five. Look how deep he is. Looks like O.J. sitting back there that far from the line of scrimmage. Picks a hole. Picked the right hole, didn't he? Takes the football for another Wisconsin first down. Tommy Bennett wrestled him down and put the ball right near midfield. Nine of the 11 offensive players for Wisconsin are coming back, too. So they'll be a force in the Big Ten next year. Lord, they're going to need them, too, with their schedule. Back goes Bevel to throw it. Short to the sidelines, J.C. Dawkins' second catch. And Dawkins will have another first down for Wisconsin near the UCLA 36-yard line. Almost dropped the ball, lets it go deep. Flag. No flag, I don't see a flag. Yep, there is one back there. I thought I saw it for a moment, and then it fell on the red, and I lost it. All right, the red and white crowd on their feet, rooting for their Badgers. They've got a first down at the UCLA 21-yard line. And the Bruins are leading 3-0 as we close out the first quarter of play. This is Brent Moss, who has played the whole quarter. And he'll get a yard or so before Jameer Miller, 6'4", 245, takes him down. Second down and eight. 
Bevel rolls it, throws it. And it is incomplete, intended for Michael Rohn, the tight end. Fletcher is the deep man. In motion. Here they come. Bevel throws it to him. He's got it. He went the wrong way, but he got away. And he's got a first down inside the five. If he took that ball to the middle, he probably scored. But he gives Wisconsin a first and goal. Moss is back now at the deep back position. First and goal. It'll officially go into books as the three. And Moss cuts it in the middle. Touchdown. Rick Schnitzky for the extra point now. Bevel does the holding. Down the middle. If you line these two teams up and had a foot race at 11 positions, UCLA probably would win at least nine of the races. The kick is not very long. It's at the 11-yard line for Colbert. Whoa, see what I mean? I mean, those feet are so quick. Ricky Davis is the tailback. I'm about gone. This will close out the first quarter of play. This is Davis. Ricky will pick up about three yards. Ricky Davis remains the tailback. It is second down and seven for UCLA. That is Stokes in motion. And Cook rolls it. Penalty flag. He throws it to Stokes. J.J. dancing around. A bunch of red shirts jump all over him. But let's see about the penalty flag. Offside. That man also calls that. We've been talking a lot about J.J. Stokes. I want to tell you that number four, Kevin Jordan, is on the field as well. And he is the fastest man on the field for either team. The ball is thrown by uh, Cook to Stokes. Short completion. And not quite enough for a first down. That fellow there in the uh, headset and the blonde hair, Rick Neuheisel, who was a quarterback at UCLA, Got a chance, made the most of it. Now he's back coaching. And uh, James Milliner carrying the sophomore from Alexander, Virginia. And it does not appear uh, that he got the first down. Cook throws it. Stokes catches it and gets a first down just across midfield. Ball is handed off up the middle to Ricky Davis, a senior out of Houston, Ricky Texas. Davis and uh, Davis will pick up about a yard on that carry. Second down and nine. Cook is six out of six for 95 yards so far in the game. And all of the passes have been thrown to J.J. Stokes. This one sails out of bounds, incomplete. And this one was intended for Brian Allen. Third and nine. Wisconsin all up there looking like they may want to blitz. Now they peel off. Right. Oh, yeah. And down goes Cook. What do you do? Somebody step on his foot? Just stumbled coming away from center. Darren Shager, the punter for the Bruins, averaging 42 yards on the season. Left foots it very high. There's a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage. A fair catch is called by Keith Jackson, and it'll give Wisconsin pretty good field position up around the 26-27 yard line. John Laurie indicates offside against the defense. They may want to punt that again. He wanted a re-kick after the five-yard penalty because one, it moves him up the field a bit, and the first one wasn't all that good. He hangs this one better, but again, it's not that deep. And Nelson is able to come fair out catch. for the 20 and fair catch it. So it's only a 27 yard punt. Here's the single back right now, and uh, his coach says he's one of the best. He thinks this guy will be playing on Sunday because he primarily is a blocking back in the Wisconsin scheme. But he said he can make somebody a great ball carrier very quick. Carries there for a couple of yards. A senior out of St. Paul, Travis Kirschke, takes him down. Terrell Fletcher had a big run against Michigan State in that decider over in Tokyo. Searches a bit. Can't throw it to the right. Is dropped at the 26. Third down and four. Bevel throws it. Too high. 
minute he let it go, he dropped his head. Low. Good spinner, though, and has fair coverage and fair catch as well. So it's a pretty good punt as UCLA goes to work from their own 32-yard line. Let's passes away, and the pass is intercepted. It is Jeff Messenger who stole it, the man who leads the Big Ten in interceptions, and he came diving in and just literally picked his pocket. String is broken. He had thrown 126 passes without an interception, and now Messenger gets one, and Wisconsin to the attack. And for UCLA 43, and Terrell Fletcher with that carry will pick up about two yards. Bevel gets it away. Thrown for his tight end. That's intercepted by UCLA, number 22, Marvin Goodwin. The ball ricocheted off the tight end road and into the arms of Goodwin. Accepted at the goal line to stop USC's bid to beat him and be here instead. Cook dropped the ball, reached for it, and when he reached for it, he went down on a knee, and the play was over. Second down and 15, give the ball to Hicks. Hicks is a burner. Pretty good gain on that play of about eight or nine yards. Out of the shotgun on third and six. Cook. Pass is incomplete. They're going to call it a fumble. They call it a fumble. And J.J. Stokes spinning around. Lost the ball and they call it possession and fumble. Woo-wee. 32-yard line, first down. Moss is back in there at the running back, the deep spot for Wisconsin. He's got the ball. And trailing the play, Jameer Miller, number 95, takes him down. That's why I said the UCLA would win most of the foot races. Yes, especially the defensive foot races. Yep. This is Moss again. Brent Moss. Well, he'll be the second leading returner if he does come back next year to Wisconsin and says he is. Second leading returner in the nation. Yeah. Russian. Yeah. yeah. Blitz. Bevel's pass quickly thrown. Pass good. Caught by Keith Jackson. He's taken out of bounds. Inside the 20. At the 17. Teddy Lawrence got him out. And it's first down Wisconsin. Here goes Moss. From the 17 to the 13 for a four-yard gain. Second down and six coming up. Watch that 32. See, he's a man in motion. He gets in front of Moss. He goes outside. Moss goes inside. First and goal, Wisconsin. Ball is up the UCLA one. But it's first and goal, Wisconsin. Moss cuts it outside. He is caught from behind. Goodwin, number 22, got a piece of him. And they're going to put him down after a short game. Moss again. Lost his footing. Lost a little bit of yardage, too. Lost a half a yard as he planted and tried to make his cut. Third and goal. Moss. I think he lost his footing again. He's, he's right on the goal line, but no call yet. Valley gets it. Touchdown, Badgers. Schnetzky's extra point try is good. Cook hands the ball to Davis. And that's a first down. Ricky Davis carries. Put it out around the 32-yard line. 
First, and 10, First down, 32-yard line. Bruins, Skip Hicks, and James Miller are now in the backfield. Second man, Hicks. Oh, my goodness. He was uh, just a little bit of a trip on the part of Lamarck Shackerford, the Lamar nose Shackerford. guard. Otherwise, he might have found that crack and been gone. Move the ball out to the 35. Cook throws a hummer as it is patted, uh, or at least uh, tipped enough along the line of scrimmage that appeared to it lose its momentum, and it falls incomplete. Could not get it to Stokes. Uh, half of that class they recruited in that three-week period are starters here today in this ballgame. You've got to be lucky sometimes. Well, they, they bought into the program, the yep. Alvarez program, and those who stayed, they've, uh, they're, they're enjoying it. It's Shackerford. They need a big one from Shaker. He's had a big season. He gets a big one. Jackson waits at the 28, and he is taken down with some authority by number 39, Andy Colbert, the freshman cornerback. Put it on the 27, first down, Moss and Montgomery at the backfield. Wisconsin leading 14 to 3. They've got the ball. Moss is outside. Red ball. First down, 40 yard line, 41, 42 yard line. Red ball is finally brought down by Marvin Goodwin and Phil Greenwood. He got outside and laid a shoulder on Teddy Lawrence and got by him. Watch from the end zone as the offensive line, they're all just going to step to their right and try to get a reach block. You see them all stopping right and stopping right there. This man right here has the option to go through or go around to get him. That's just the offensive line. Now he can stop and go inside or he can keep going out and around. Also again. That is his 21st carry. He had 81 yards until that play. Now subtract one because he lost one. The Ramos has not seen the ball today. The leading wideout receiver. Down the middle, he's under this one, and they knock him down. Penalty flag, first down, Wisconsin. It'll be a 15-yard penalty. On first down, they go back to Moss one more time. He cuts it back into the traffic. Well, he's a tough guy. Got about seven yards on that carry. A lot of people who have played Wisconsin squawking and yelling about their They talk hand about their hands position. being in yeah. with a, a handful of jersey. You talk talking about jersey. <laughs> Loss again. And that's another first down as he is at the 31-yard line. And it's first down, Wisconsin. There's Nyquist. Tight end. Play action. And they stop him. Procedure, I think. Dead ball. Ball start. Yes. Off ball start. Five yard penalty. First down. They put five seconds back on the clock to make it an even minute now on first down and 15. Bevel getting some pressure, gets his pass off. The pass is caught by J.C. Dawkins, and Dawkins is wrestled down inbounds at the 30. Wisconsin's got one timeout remaining. Stopped by uh, Robert Gamble. Clock running at 40 seconds. They'd like to at least get out of here with three. If they can. Second down and eight. Bevel looks and throws in the middle. Pass thrown to Matt Nyquist. And again, you've got a penalty flag. And it's thrown by a linesman. False start. Offense. They got one play, and then they're going to have to try the kick. Bevel throws it underneath. The Fletcher bounces off. Four three people. The ball comes loose. Wisconsin's acting like they've still got it, and they do. And that stops the clock at three seconds. The ball is down around the 20. And Wisconsin's going to have a shot at a field goal. From 38 yards. Hooked it. Missed it. Look at the first half stats, plays in favor of Wisconsin, and at the bottom, the time of possession, big in favor of Wisconsin also. The seven points off of a turnover go to Wisconsin. Go, 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 go. Darren Washington, big run, 
Gets it out across the 35-yard line. They are a finesse team. That is the first carry, the first rush for the ball team by Darren Washington. Oh! Play action, Cooks pass, thrown low and incomplete. Brian Adams couldn't come up with it. Poor throw. Cook checking off. Remember, he's had the flu, had a sore throat. That voice may be getting pretty sore right about here. Pressure, side arms it, pass caught by Stokes. They were giving Stokes a lot of room, and he's caught by Aaron Ferguson from behind. And it's a first down at the 46-yard line of Wisconsin. Here's Darren Washington. He's to the 35, and another UCLA first down. Little quick pop out here to Jordan, and Jordan isn't going anywhere with it because the play is made quickly by Kenny Gales, the corner on the boundary side. Blitz. Cook gets it away, and it is incomplete off the hands of Wynn. Under the pressure, Cook threw it behind Mike, and he couldn't turn around and get it. Cook has protection, throws a hummer, complete, incomplete. He drilled Jordan with the ball, and I don't know, uh, Kevin obviously didn't catch it, but I'm not sure that he won't go home with a cross on his sternum because he really popped that thing in there. It's too long for a field goal, and you don't want to punt. They're out of the, out of the regular uh, set, out of the tee, as the quarterback's under center, and a single back. Cook has some time and throws, and it is incomplete. It was intended for Wynn, and you finally get a call from the back judge as Wynn was being covered by Donnie Brady, and I think this may prove to be a very good call. I think it's a good call, too. Set up Davis and Washington in the backfield for the Bruins with Davis the deep man. Give it to Davis, bouncing outside. And number 47, Unverzak, chases him. James Miller now is in the backfield for the Bruin. He's number 36. Ricky Davis is number 31. Here they come. Cook back. Blitz is on. Pass to the corner. Incomplete. Intended for Stokes. Third down and three. They go to the shotgun. Cook goes underneath for the first down. First and goal, UCLA. Cook loses the ball. Wisconsin's got it. Bruins turn it over in the shadow of the goal. So the UCLA Bruins won 11 plays. Turn it over, come away empty. Wisconsin ball, first down, their own 12. It's Terrell Fletcher and Jeff Wirth in the backfield now, with the deep man being Fletcher. He's got it. Get him on, he won't get him. Only one man, number two, Teddy Lawrence, prevents the touchdown. And it's first down, Wisconsin. The ball is up on the 45-yard line. Fletcher again. I'll tell you one thing about the way Wisconsin runs the ball. A guy just has just burned up his shoes with a run. Mark Montgomery checks back into the lineup now for the Badgers. Give it to Fletcher. Oh, he's got a convoy. It's first down at the 36-yard line of UCLA. Put it on the 37-yard line. And Fletcher's hot. Give it up to Montgomery. And Big Mark gets a carry. Look, uh, here I got a ball. I want to run hard. And he picks up four. And we get some pushing and shoving. It's against UCLA. It's first down. The ball is at the 19. Fletcher comes back. Fumbles the football picked up by Wisconsin. Rudolph knocks right up, and big Joe Rudolph just wrapped it up. Here goes Moss into the stack. And I want to tell you something. 
There was some folks laying some leather. The ball never came out. I think Bevel wound up with the ball rolling around on the ground with it. Bevel fumbled the snap. But it never came up. The play. They burned the clock. Their five out of seven Wisconsin is on third down conversions today. That was a big, big penalty there. Bevel's got a man. He's late getting it away, but it is caught by Dawkins. And Dawkins goes hunting for the marker, and I don't know if he got there or not. Fletcher's out, Moss is in, and Wisconsin's going for it. Fourth and one. Instead of going for the three, they're going to go for the bundle. Big play in this ball game. Moss dives. I don't think he made it. He did not make it. Penalty flag. Now that could change everything. Oh, my gosh. They're going to throw somebody out of the ball game pretty soon here. Too much of this. Too much of it. It's a bunch of nonsense. You can't have it. If you can't control it, let's just quit playing the damn game. It's ridiculous. We don't have a shot right down the line. No, there's so a, both teams, two players, each team ejected. Who? Well, I would guess, you know the two I would guess, are the two that started well, it that Goodwin's we had. Goodwin's got to be shot. one of them. Yeah. Goodwin and DeRamus. Yeah, those two. There's Goodwin for UCLA. He's gone. We know that. Yeah, he's Ramos a second team All American. As I said, he's their leading tackler and their leading interceptor as UCLA takes over on downs. And Cook rolls out, getting pursuit. And runs the ball all the way out to the 17 yard line. Second down and three for the Bruins. Cook hands the ball to Ricky Davis. Davis brings it out of the pack. And Ricky has a first down up at the 27-yard line. Cook to a shotgun on first down. Reggie Holt is out, and Jamel Brown is in replacing him at a strong safety position. And that pass is incomplete. Darren Washington had gone down on a knee, then realized he couldn't make the catch that way, and he started to stand up the ball around. 28-yard line, first, uh, second down and 10 for UCLA, with Wisconsin leading 14-3. a flag. Kevin Jordan was grabbed by Donnie Brady and spun around. Five-yard penalty in the first half. That is five yards. 14-3 is your score as Cook rolls it out, running for the second time now here in the third quarter. Where it is second down and five. Cook throws, just blocked into the air and falls incomplete. Here's Lynn Swan. Keith, after the fight on the field, the officials ejected two players, one from Wisconsin, one from UCLA. From Wisconsin, Mark Montgomery, the fullback. For UCLA, it's Marvin Goodwin, the free safety. Third down and five. Pressure coming, passes away to Stokes. Question is... Did he have enough for the first down? And the man coming from the side, the market, the linesman, has given him a very good mark, and it will be a UCLA first down. They burned the clock. It'll cost them five. It'll be first and 15. Hicks has got it. I tell you what, Mike Wynn didn't knock anybody down over there. The wide receiver. Ball is now on the Wisconsin side of the field. 14 to 3, the Badgers lead. Hicks has the first down. Works his way to the 45, and they'll move the chain. This is Hicks. The Washington. Washington, number 30. And he picks up about eight yards on the first down carry. This is Hicks. And Hicks slides on around the corner and picks up another first down before Jet Messenger can bring him down. Here they come again. 
Cook. Loses the ball. Wisconsin has a shot at it. They've got it. The Bruins have turned it over again. Back here in the third quarter, two more people were ejected from this ball game. From Wisconsin, it was Lee Doremus, a starting wide receiver, and also Gallatin from UCLA. That means that UCLA's first and second team safeties are out of the ball game. And Gallatin, who has been the, one of their prime blitzers, he's made some huge plays for them late in the season. This is Terrell Fletcher carrying the ball for Wisconsin. They take over first down at their own 37-yard line. Second down and 10. Pebble incomplete as intended for Vince Zullo. Third down. Pebble's pass is incomplete over the head of Michael London. Absolutely no pressure on him. He just nails it. Gidry's back at the 18, steps away from the first wave of tacklers. And we'll get it up to about Henry the 20-yard line, 44-yard punt, two-yard return. But you're probably Draws going to add something to, to it because the of the penalty. Flag on the play. Mike Rohn was down to make the tackle. Block in the back, illegal block, illegal use of the hands. Ball is on the 11-yard line as UCLA snaps it on first down. Cook rolling out under pressure. Delivers the ball to Darren Washington, and Darren Washington is tackled just as the ball arrives by number 98, Yusuf Burgess. This is Ricky Davis running alone. Cook has all day to deliver the ball to the running back. Davis, and he's good to the 35, so it'll be second down and five. Cook again has all day, puts it high, down the field, now passes, intercepted, but there's a penalty flag, and that interception won't stand. Defensive pass interference, 15 yards, first down. Hand it off to James Milliner. That's an eight-yard gain. Here comes Hicks. It's another first down. They had a frustrating third quarter. 13 first downs, 161 yards, and no points. Wayne Cook back to throw. Looks for Jordan. Throws! And it is a penalty flag trailing the incomplete forward pass as J.J. Stokes lay it out, got his hands on it, and couldn't hold it. It's holding on the defense. Ricky Davis is back in the lineup now as they stay in the shotgun. Locks are all screwed up again and not working. Ball is given to Milliner. Milliner running to the right side. We'll get about four before he tumbles down. This is Davis. He's outside. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. See what the Badgers can do. It may be gut check time right here. It's Jackson at the four. Good return to the 32. Return of 28 yards. He was their long range threat. They had controlled him, but nonetheless, the threat was still there. They've used Dawkins in the passing game quite well today, but he hasn't seen the ball much here in the second half. This is Moss again. So in two runs, they've moved it from the 32 to the 37, where it is third down and five. Incomplete. The pass bounces off Jeff Worth in the ball game at fullback. 
44, 43, 44 on his previous three. So Sam's done his job today, but he didn't get a whole lot of that one. And it takes a favorable roll for the Badgers and rolls dead. This is Ricky Davis. And Davis is Humble. hot. Humble. The ball was Thompson dives on it, and the Badgers have it. The Bruins have turned it over five times. The 30th play of the half, UCLA coughs it up, and Mike Thompson covered it for the Badgers. Here is a golden opportunity for Wisconsin. Penalty flag as Moss runs into the stack and doesn't go anywhere. Offside, Bruins hurting themselves again. It'll be first and five after the penalty's marked off. First and five. Bevel lets it go deep. Look out. Incomplete pass intended for Michael London. He was double covered. That just tells you a little bit about the uh, experience of this young man. Moss, look right. out. He got Red loose. Ball. And he's got a first down. Moss again. He's whipsawed after a couple Red of yards. Ball, Jameer Miller Stop with the first Jameer man Miller. to get to him. UCLA defense now blitzing almost on every play. They have to. Bevel runs away from pressure. Got loose. A lot of green in front of him. It's touchdown. Bevel makes the big play for the Badgers. Gets a little help there. Kick is good. Here's the kickoff. Ayers. And Derek Ayers brings John Hall's kick back up across the 20. Out of the shotgun from the 23-yard line, Wayne Cook swings one out, and there's a solid collision as Darren Washington is taken down by Kenny Gales. They run out of feet to shoot. Cook back. He has time. He needs to go. He's going to try to run, and that's a mistake. They lose again as Cook is taken down on the fifth sack of the day at the 20, just over the 20-yard line. Third down and 12. Passes away. The pass is good. Caught by Jordan. Kevin Jordan is down at the 40. First down, Bruins. And into the receiver, Jordan, for a first down. Jordan again. Fumbles the ball. Badgers have it. I think. Penalty flag. Personal foul. Wisconsin. Interception, okay. First down. First down and 10. Brent Moss. Nothing there. Moss up the middle. First down. He crosses midfield and goes to the UCLA 45. Contact along the line of scrimmage. Offense. Offense. Five-yard penalty, repeat, first down. 21 to 10, Wisconsin lead. First down and 15 for the Badgers. Bevel still got it. Let's it go. Dawkins can't hold it. Just off his hand. Ball was thrown too high. Second down. They come. Brent Moss was not ready to catch the ball. It is third down and 15. Passes away. Passes good to London. And London is well, well short of the first down. Oh, he shanked it. He shanked it. He gets a very lucky roll, though. Look at that. Darren 
Washington was looking to see where I can go and never caught it. That one is good to win. And Mike Wynn will save possession for UCLA with the first down catch out at the 30 yard line. 31 yard line where it is first down Bruins. Cook comes one to the sidelines. Is it a catch? I guess so. Up on the 40. Second down and one after that nine yard reception by Stokes. Cook turns inside and just barely avoids the punishment from uh, Eric Unverzak. 47 yard line on the UCLA side. First down with 5.50 to play in the ball game. Cook looks down the middle for win. Throws underneath to Stokes. And Stokes is turned upside down by Ungersak. Down at the 41-yard line, but it's a first down. The clock stops when you move the chains on first down with college football. Here's another a little short pop thrown to Brian Adams, his second catch of the day. There's another one. Thrown behind uh, J.J. Stokes, though. That's Cook's ball. Bad pass there because he had his man clean and clear. Now they get a little pressure on him, but he breaks up the pressure by completing the pass to Brian Allen, the tight end. There's a little bit of a delay for Darren Washington. And he runs it inside the 20, Washington close to the 18. Walker, Second down and six. And Shakovich back in. That nose guard. Got to get some pressure on Cook. He's picking him apart. Stokes with the ball. And he's down inside the 10. First and goal to go UCLA. First and goal Bruins. That's a penalty. Win was the intended receiver, and Kenny Gales ran over him. Cook's got it. Throw it. Throws it away. Oh, that He's got was such pretty long close. Legs. <laughs> that was pretty close. Incomplete. Pass intended for Kevin Jordan. Third down and goal. Complete. Jordan, it went right past his ear. He never looked. They're expecting onside, but they don't get it. It's Keith Jackson at the eight. Jackson down hard at the 18. Been a festive day. The Wisconsin people have made it a festive Rose Bowl with their enthusiasm. This is Brett Moss bouncing up the middle and almost popped out of there. He almost got away. Out to the 25-yard line. Bevel gives to Moss. There's a first down. Brett Moss to the 35-yard line. Big ball game. The 11th time this year he's gone past 100 yards. Wisconsin running game and just running out the clock at the end of the ball game. Two minutes and 20 seconds to play, and Moss again pounding up the middle for about three yards. It is UCLA against Wisconsin. It is second down and six for the Badgers. They lead by five points. Last time the Bruins had the ball just a few minutes ago, they moved it down the field with relative ease as Wisconsin went to the prevent. John Good Laurie. Ball. ball start. Offense. Five it's against Wisconsin. And they're here looking down at winning this uh, Rose Bowl game another two minutes and 15 seconds. Moss going around the corner on second down and 11. And he's a yard short of a first down. He picked up 10 yards on that carry. Third down and one. He didn't get it. UCLA stopped him. First the 
the punt coverage and the punt return are important right here. Low kick. Taken at the 20 by Guidry. And down. And they'll go out of the shotgun. Cooks pass, short, tied in. Allen to the 45. That's a pickup of seven yards. The clock stopped when they moved the chains on first down. Second down and three. There's the first down. J.J. Stokes to the Wisconsin 47. Cook takes off up the middle. Got some room. Does a hook slide at the Wisconsin 36. Clock going. To the sidelines, tied in Allen. It's a poor throw. Second down and a long four. Throws a homer. Misses Stokes. Third and four. Free play. Free play. The Badgers were off sides. And they whistle them. They say no play now. They did. It's against UCLA. The man in the red shirt was the one that was most obvious. So it's third down and nine now with 25 seconds. Cook gets it away. Pass is caught by Stokes. He's inside the 20 and down at the 18-yard line. Stokes has a huge size advantage over everybody in the Wisconsin secondary. They go quickly. No, you can't do that. You gotta throw the ball. You got no timeouts. You got no timeouts. Throw the That's ball. it. It's over. It's over. It's over. Cook tried to surprise him, tried to run it up the middle. Didn't have a timeout to save him. Was knocked down. The clock runs out. The Wisconsin Badgers have defeated the UCLA Bruins by a score of 21 to 16. And it was a great day for the drummer boy.